Hi, I'm Becky Morgan with Fulcrum Consulting Works in Cleveland, Ohio. In the late 1970s, I was working with some of the most advanced computers available at the time. I programmed them and I learned about operating systems and more. I've never been afraid of technology. But in our manufacturing world today, all of the advancing technologies, all of the things that are now becoming available rapidly can feel overwhelming. And yet, we need to learn and we need to not be afraid. So what are the options we have as manufacturing executives when it comes to all this new technology? Well, one that many small manufacturers are choosing is to ignore it or dismiss it and hope it goes away. I don't care if you're a $2 million manufacturing company or a $2 billion manufacturing company, that's not a strategy that's going to help you build an enduring organization. You can't ignore it. So the next choice becomes, okay, if I can't ignore it, how do I intelligently choose? We can't keep track of everything that's going on out there, but we can keep track of our business and our market. We have short-term needs and we have long-term strategic needs. And it's worth kind of dividing those into two separate categories because some technologies are much more helpful on the shop floor with today's decision making and other technologies are much more helpful in allowing you to develop, create, and deliver fantastic new capabilities to better strategize, to better plan and implement. So think about what your business needs are short-term and separately long-term. Now, I'm not suggesting that you have separate technology strategies. I'm suggesting that we don't get confused with this huge laundry list of options and look at our huge laundry list of company problems and challenges and just want to sit down and cry. That's a lot like the dismiss or ignore option, which I strongly encourage you to ignore and dismiss. So if you look at your business short-term needs, what is the biggest impediment to you getting high quality product out the door every day on time when you need to? These are short term problems that technology can often help address. That may be using IoT devices for predictive maintenance. It may be using um, other kinds of data collection and decision making to help things go more quickly. If you have workers that need to find a supervisor to get a decision or that have to look for a quality person to see if this particular deviation is okay. Those are things that technology can help you resolve and help you resolve now. So you'd want to look at a family of technologies that help you solve that kind of problem. In the longer term, you may be need to look at how to how to develop and deliver entirely new products or entirely new services. You may need to be able to coordinate with your supply chain all the way out of the earth to final consumer and back to the earth. That's a very different set of technology options than the first examples I gave. So I encourage you to take a look at your challenges and say, okay, near term, short term operational challenges. What's one that I really wish we could fix right now? And then hone in on two or three technologies that might be able to help you do that and get a pilot started, not so that you can enter pilot purgatory, but so that you can learn. Many of these technologies are much easier to use than they seem on the surface. You can get some experience and find out how you use them and it'll teach you to think about your business differently. Some of the longer term challenges you have, it's hard to know which technology, but if you look at it and say, but what if, and you finish that sentence, and then you look and see if there's a technology that can help answer that what if. Because a lot of things that used to be impossible are now happening every day out in the real world. 
So for technology, try not to be overwhelmed. Try to break it down into the type of business problem that's highest priority for you right now. Never do technology for technology's sake. Always do it to improve your business short term and long term. I hope you find these words of wisdom helpful to you as you struggle with all the technology available because you can break it down into very important and very valid options for your business and you can do that today. I wish you well in this journey. It's a long one and you better get started now.